Just a quick note as we uh, head into the last few routines of our block, uh, in order to prepare for our next group coming in, if you are all set um, after your last routine, if you could make sure that you go ahead and grab all of your belongings right out of the dressing room and you can uh, line them up in the hallway behind the stage or bring them here in the performance space with you, that would be perfect. That way we can get to fogging. All right, please welcome 201. Hit me with your best shot. <laughs> Well, you're a real tough cookie with a long history of breaking little hearts like the one of me. That's okay, let's see how you do it. Put up your dukes, let's get down to it. Hit me with your best shot. Why don't you hit me with your best shot? I am the one to talk to you first. Um, that was so, so great, everybody. I loved your energy in this piece. You were traveling all over that dance floor in the best way. You had great, great height on your leaps, and I loved the timing in that their very first leap that you did was like perfection. The punches to the floor and the slide to the floor early on as well were so great. I want to see you time up the aerials that you did and the turning toe touch just as succinct as you did that first leap in the dance. Um, so make sure those are really spot on. And then when we do this surprise leap where we're rolling to the floor afterwards, try to get those legs like square onto the front so we're not opening up here. Find that nice square plane and keep the core engaged as we go to the floor so it has a quieter, more controlled landing. Nice work. Really strong work. Who are my two that did the center leap while the three over here did the double? Yeah, so, so great. You had great timing. You had really great elevation in that. And you all had such a clean spot in your double pirouette. I absolutely loved it. Everyone, I want to do the hip sways just like you, yeah? You're really using resistance. You're really using your plie. It looked so awesome. I absolutely loved it. Um, for me and your shoulder shots, I want to lengthen the back leg. Um, when you do your switch center, like what Miss Lauren's talking about, really use your glute and hamstring to spring off that second leg, yeah? The first one's getting there just fine. We just have to pay attention to that second leg. And then just clean up the transitions when we go to the floor. Make sure we're all doing the same amount of rotations. Great job. Fabulous job, Sapphire Award.